Okay, it is August 26th, and we just came back from Letchworth, and Prudence is watering one of the tom potted tomato plants. Prudence, just soak the, soak the pot, soak the, the bottom. It's really the most important part. But, but there's and left. there is. And uh, we just came back from uh, a week away, and we haven't watered the tomato garden while we we're gone. It might have rained once or twice, but not loads, and the garden is still ginormous. And I just went through and picked, and here's our harvest for the week. This is, these are the small tomatoes and tomatillos. Looks like we got about uh, half a gallon or a gallon somewhere in there. And then these are our regular uh, meaty tomatoes. We're going to be making a lot of sauce. We've got a couple stray cucumbers left. I've got a couple uh, more yellow tomatoes. These yellow ones are an heirloom variety that I didn't even plant this year. I planted last year and we just got lots of plants come up with them. And uh, we've got a few broken tomatoes but they'll make sauce tonight. And um, garden is still huge. Can I take the wrapping off? Off of the tomatillos? Why don't you leave it on? Leave it on. Leave it. No, it, it'll come off when we when we when we use them. Okay. It's nice to keep the wrapper on there. I don't know. Just I just like it that way. Um, no particular reason, but we picked a I picked a ton of stuff out here. I was about 45 minutes picking this morning, and we we have to go over later today to the community garden, and we still have tons of gourds that we have not gotten to that are laying about. You can see them kind of little yellow splashes in there. And there's another one hiding there, ready to come come in. Dad, yes, dear. Um, can I take over the camera now? No, because I'm almost I'm not done with this video. Um, and uh, the chickens without our supplementation from the house ate through an entire uh, feeder full of uh, chicken feed, which usually takes them two or three weeks at the current rate. And but they were just about out when we got home, so I filled them up and they chowed down, and then I gave them some some food, and so their crops are all full and they're fat and sassy now, feeling pretty chill. It looks like they're doing just fine in there. All the girls looks like the new girls are doing quite nicely. They have managed to keep most of their feathers, and. Um, that's pretty much where we are with the uh, with the garden this summer. Um, we'll probably shoot another one in a, another week or two, or possibly one at the community garden because the community garden's done really well too. Dad. Bye.